to continue learning about the different things we can do with our marquee, let's open up Building One JPEG and add it to our document. And this is the building that I want to be able to copy and paste into our new document. So let's go back and choose our Rectangle Marquee tool. It's in our toolbox. Now before I've said we can highlight these pixels, everything that's inside of the marquee is what we have selected. And, and let's see what happens if I go to copy and then go over to our new document and paste it. Now it does paste in here and it gives, it's on a new layer and I'm able to move it around but I just wanted to be able to select the building itself and not have this gray border around it. So I need to delete this layer. To do this, let's go over to our Layers palette, and you notice our new building is on a layer called Layer 1. Down at the very bottom right hand corner is an icon for a little trash can, and with Layer 1 selected, I'm going to click it once, and it will ask me, are you sure you want to delete this layer? This will allow us to delete it, and I'm going to say yes. And so that layer is now deleted. But let's go back to our building and choose our rectangle marquee. I'm going to click outside to deselect it. Now I know this building is made up of different rectangles stacked one on top of another. It would be really good if I could just be able to select these rectangles and that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to zoom in. Remember to zoom in for a document is command and the plus sign. And we're going to make it real big so we can see what we're working with. I'm going to scroll down to the very bottom of it. What I'm going to do is make the first selection of this bottom portion of the building. So I'm going to click and drag right over this blue part. And now I've got this bottom part of the building selected. In order to add on to my selection, I can hold down the shift key and watch my marquee. Notice that a little plus sign has appeared next to it. This will allow me to add on to a selection that I'm making as long as I have my shift key held down. When I let go, the plus sign disappears. So let's hold down our shift key and add the second little base of our building by clicking and dragging over. And notice that I'm overlapping my selections. So when I release, now I have added on to the selection of that building. Everything has been uh, added onto with our marquee rectangle. Let me back up some so we can see the rest of our building. Next thing I want to do is add this taller piece. So I'm going to hold down my shift. I've got my plus sign. I'm going to click and drag at this top left corner and pull all the way down. Remember I'm going to overlap it just a little bit and release. Now I've added on the taller portion of my building. Let's continue on with this rest of the building. Holding down my shift, click and drag. And if you get off a little bit, that's okay. So you can always hold down your shift key and readjust where your starting point is. And continue to add on to your building until the entire building is selected. Shift, click, and drag. This final piece up here, done. So now I'm going to hit Command-0, and you see that I've got my entire building selected and none of the gray area on the outside. So now if I was to go to Edit and Copy, and then click on our new document and paste it, there, I've only so, uh, pasted in my new building. I'm going to move it up to the top for now. That's going to be the tallest building in our presentation. If you look again on our layers palette, you can see that it is on its own layer by itself. Let me show you another thing about layers while working with. Notice that this one is on top of the moon layer. Therefore, if I was to click and drag it, it will always be on top of the moon layer in our, our document window that we're seeing. If we wanted to, say, have the moon on top of the building, you can adjust the arrangement of the layers you're working with. So if I wanted to have layer 1 beneath the moon, I'm going to click on layer 1 and drag down. You can see it'll start to highlight. And as I drag, you can see 
there will be a, uh, a thicker line between each of the layers. So when I release, now layer one is below the moon. And if we look on our document, our building is behind the moon. That's because it's on a completely different layer. So to move it back, I'm going to click on the moon layer and drag it down until the line below layer one is highlighted and release and now it's back to normal. Remember to have the correct layer selected if you want to be able to affect it.